If you've ever struggled with how to place duplicate copies of a detail on multiple sheets, here's a quick tip for you. The problem is that while detail views can be duplicated, the lines in the detail views are independent of each other. Changes in one detail view will not be reflected in another detail view. So for example, if we duplicate this view, remembering to duplicate with the detailing, Another copy is created, but these lines are completely independent of the other view. So if, for example, we make a change here to the detail, if we go back to the original detail, you'll see it isn't changed. So here's the workaround for how you can actually duplicate a view and keep those two different views in sync. The key is to create something called a detail group. And to do that, what we do is highlight all the information in the first detail view. Then under the annotate menu, you can choose to create a detail group. We can give this a descriptive name like foundation detail. And you'll see that that detail group now shows up in our project browser. Now that we've created that detail group, we can create a new drafting view. and drag that detail group into the new drafting view. Now that we've created this new drafting view with the detail group, we can place it on another sheet. So I can open another sheet, find that drafting view, and drag it right on. Now this copy is linked to the original because we placed it as a detail group. If we choose the view, I'll activate it, and then we edit that group. You'll see that we can make a change here. And when we finish that, and when we go back to the original sheet, that view has also been updated there. So now these detailed groups always stay in sync with each other. So the key to keeping multiple copies of a drafting view in sync is to use a detail group to encapsulate the lines in that drafting view, then all the different instances that you place will always stay in sync with each other.